Hi, Anthony here. When I first started in Unity, I found it pretty tricky to access a script from another script. So I made a video today on three ways you can use one script to get to another script. I'm going to make a scene, I'm going to add a button, and then on the button I'm going to add a script, and that script's going to access my little dot and make it move around. So let's have a look. Okay, so here's my dot. It's just a round sprite and I've just added a character control to it and I've moved, added a move dot script. It's just a simple script I've made. It accesses the character control and there's a method down here that has the move direction and when you put in a vector, it'll move to that direction. So nothing will happen right now because I haven't assigned anything to the move direction at the moment, so just nothing. But if I put in the start here, we'll move it to the right. So we'll get the move direction and then we'll put in the vector that we want. We'll add it to be one comma zero comma zero, which will make it go to the right because we're just changing the X axis. And then when we hit start, it'll call on the move direction method and move to the right, obviously. And so we'll go back to Unity, hit start, and here we go. And yes, we're going that way. Obviously, we can do this so we can change it. So on the Y axis, we can add it one there and this will make it move up. We'll go back to Unity and we'll press play again. And there you go, up it goes. But what about if you wanted to put buttons on the screen and you wanted to move it with the buttons? So I'm going to comment these this out so that's no longer running. And when we go back to Unity, we're going to add a button now. And on the button, we're going to add a script. And then that script's going to access our um, dot script, which makes it move. So that's going to be the whole point of this tutorial is three different ways we can access a script in another script. So we'll make a script here and while it's compiling, just a quick subscribe me, please. Um, and now that's compiled, we'll put that onto our button. So we've got our button left script and this is our first way of making that button access the other dots, move dot script. So what we have to do is put a public move dot script, or this is whatever the script you're accessing name is. That's the important part here. Mine's move dot, yours could be game manager, could be anything. But for this tutorial, I'm move dot. And then we'll delete the start and update. And all we have to do then is put, we'll make it something for the button to access. So we're going to put a public void of um, button left. And then all we have to do then is put their move dot dot move. Then we can access our other script move dot dot move direction. And we just put in a vector. And this is pretty much doing the same as what it did at the, when we put it in the start, but we're accessing from another script. So when we press the button, the, the button to move left, this is going to make it move left. Now note, I put minus one in here instead of one because last time, remember, we're moving to the right and we want to move left. So that's why we've got minus one. And then the important thing here is that we've got to go to our button and in our, we're going to add it to the on click. So we'll put that script in there. Then we'll go to the on click and there's a move lift left um, method that we just wrote and so now we hit the button and it's going to move left 
So hit play and here we go. Hit the button. It's gonna go bang, yeah. Move left. So that's our first method of doing this. Okay, so this is number two. What we're gonna do is just comment out what we did for number one. So it's still there, but we're not using it. Um, and then what we'll do now is we're gonna make it into a public static um, instance of itself. Now, this isn't the kind of thing that you want to do on every script. It's it's kind of more for your game managers or for your character control scripts. Just stuff, just the, the main scripts. It's great for accessing one script from multiple places easily. You want to put in an awake um, call. And in that, we're going to make this... Uh, an instance of itself so it's it's there to be accessed basically so if it's in if there's no instance of it it'll make it an instance of this and if there is an instance of this then it's going to go and delete it so there's only one instance of itself so because if, if we didn't if we had more than one instance it's going to try and access different the same script that it's instantiated twice, which is probably not the greatest thing. Anyway, we only want one instance of itself. So that's why we're going through and putting this bit in here. Anyway, the, the, the great thing about doing it like this is, especially on your game managers or your character control, like I said, is then when we go to the other script and if you've got a right button and a left button and a jump button, and they're all running back to the, the thing. All you have to do then is put your move dot dot instance, and then you've dot, um, what do we call it? Move direction and a vector, and it's done. That's it. It's fantastic. It's an easy way, but like I said, don't use it for every script that you've got because it's just going to be too hectic and not a good practice. And so back to Unity and let's show that this works. So it, oh, obviously you can see we commented out and the other method is missing from there. Let's hit this play and here we go. Yeah, I'm on this. And that's method two. So number three is a pretty much a little bit on the take of number one, but we'll comment everything out and have a look anyway. So all that's gone now, and it's not going to be in our scripts. All we're going to do here is it add a simple line of code is object.find, and then we're going to find... Well, I, I like to go into Unity and copy the actual name of my game object so I make sure I don't stuff it up kind of thing and go back into Visual Studio, paste it in there and then dot get component and we're going to find the the other script um, and then we put our brackets and dot move direction and add in our vectors it's pretty straightforward it's just a script version of number one basically subscribe dudes um so anyway that's pretty much the end of the video um we'll watch it work thanks for watching um talk to you next week